Hello guys and welcome back to the Mara Brothers. Today we are in Soto Grande and it's going to be our pleasure to show you. All right, welcome back to the Mara Brothers. Thank you for tuning in guys. Today we are going to look at a beautiful house here in Soto Grande. So join me as we show you first the detail shots of the house and then the house. Let's go. How did you like the drone shots? Comment below. This house is the perfect example of a modern looking house. Now let me quickly explain what does a modern look actually mean. It's simplicity in form and design. It's based on abstraction created by clean lines, shapes and forms. And this house shows that perfectly because it is clean, it has the structures, it has everything that you are looking for in a modern house. Welcome yourself in. Before we enter, wow, look at this door. It is a massive oak door with a hinge at the side that opens like this, just for you to see how immensely big it is. And it welcomes you inside the house. But before, if you do not want to go like this, you can actually come in and out, out of the little door. It's a joke, I don't think you can. It's a heavy, firm door but it moves like a swan. All right, guys, beautiful console. I usually don't want to point out every element, but this wood on this console is so elegant and it just floats in the entrance hall. And this is where you place your shoes and stuff as such. And to the left here, you have a cupboard that matches in design and quality to the console that we've just seen. So welcome to this modern home sits on a plot of 1,156 square meters. You have a total build site of 688 square meters, four bedrooms of which the main bedroom enjoys the entire first floor and three bedrooms find space on this level. I'll come to everything else, but from here, let's get started and go right into this beautiful living room, which is light lit and super elegant. Now it looks to me picturette as if it came from a designer book right here. Everything in the house is natural. Natural stones, natural paint, natural paint on the painting. Everything is natural, which makes this house super economical and it breathes with life. Let's put focus real quick on this cupboard, for instance. It's not just giving space for the niche for the television, but it also has a lot of space to store your goods like here, the Christmas, Villeroy and Boch plates. Closing that, I really want to put focus once again on the lighting of the house. You have this soft blue LED line shining right here and you do have these light fixtures throughout the entire house, whether it's LED chandeliers or anything else that brings light. A lot of it has been installed here. So great room. It's open, it merges to this section, but before we do so, if you come down again, I always like to point out the tiling and here this beautiful big one meter by 70 plates have been installed. And this goes throughout from the main house to the outer terrace. You've got the same marble installed. Beautiful. All right, from here we merge over to this bench made dinner table, right? the armory right over here, the cupboard that's been embedded into the architecture, into the niche that was left here. And it's so elegant because it is just a little bar area for you to store your beverages and glasses. Very elegant. Voila. Let me show you the outside terrace that you just basically merge in and out, in and out. 
Everything in this house has been created so that the outdoor living space feels like it's indoor and the indoor feels like it's outdoor. This area right here is covered, but before we move on, you do have floor to ceiling, big windows, double glazed security glass, and they slide. And again, they are on the same level as the tiling, so you do not have a gap. Great, and <laughs> don't hit yourself and fall. From here, just to the left, you have a nice couch section where you sit, you can observe your children play in the pool, you can communicate with the rest of the house, and again, in this beautiful design that flows and is identical to the other design elements in the house. Beautiful. Moving forward from here, we also have two sun beds. I'm sure these you can just roll out and enjoy the sun, but I want to put focus before I show you the garden area on this gigantic bench made wooden table for your outdoor eating. Because right behind this table, you have the kitchen, which I'll come to in just a second. But before I do, I'm in love with this barbecue area right here and this barbecue grill. This is fuck her, fuck her, <laughs> fuck her, eh? it's a barbecue from Italy. It is beautiful in design, super slick, minimalistic, and very functional. And just look how it presents itself here. Part of the interior, part of the architecture. Beautiful. Great, from here, let's go into the kitchen because in the kitchen, there's a lot to show you and it's gonna be my pleasure. So follow me. This banquette breakfast dinner table, also again made with wood. I always love to eat in the kitchen. I cook in the kitchen, I dine in the kitchen, I party in the kitchen, I have social gatherings in the kitchen. The kitchen is the heart of the house and this big bench made banquette serves greatly for its purpose. Now, if you look at this very long kitchen aisle on this beautiful marble countertops on top, a lot of space for you to work on. And what I would love to point out, if you just look in here, I'm gonna give you a nice little detail shot. It looks as if this sink here has been carved out of one big solid piece of marble. Very elegant, very clean and minimalistic. And moving on from here, we have a lot of kitchen carpentries over here and the appliances by Neff, which are a very good company, and the Sub-Zero Fur Dinkum fridge, which I'm gonna open up just for you to get an understanding of how solid this fridge is right underneath a freezer. Can store a lot of things in here actually. Closing the freezer very quickly. Nice little bar area here with this extension of the marble. And best of all, this big window frame that looks outwards to this beautiful olive tree. And now what I really wanna put focus on is the detailing of this house and how architecture has been merged with nature. Perfect example is this olive tree. I'll put more focus on it at the later stage. Right, over here as well, you've got this countertop that you can move in case you need. I would like to show the cupboard spaces. Firstly, how intelligently the carpentry here is done and the space that is created within. Great, so nothing just lies around and looks ugly to the eye. Close it, you move on. Now, for those of you who might have realized, this kitchen is super minimalistic and super clean. You do not have a lot of appliances just hanging around and lying around. That's because they have been purposely stored right over here in this nice cupboard with LED lights once again. You need to use it, you pop it here, you finish, you put it back inside. Kitchen looks clean. Love it. Now, last but not least, as you always have these nice sockets to use these instruments, instruments, appliances for. Fantastic. Right from here, we move down the hallway to this beautiful room right here. Let me show it to you. All right, what you have here is a 
niche. It's like a squared room. It's used for a cinema room. You have the sectional couch, but most importantly, this beautiful big framed window, once again, allowing you to look outside to the landscape garden and the olive tree which is the merge between nature and architecture I was speaking about in the kitchen. Beautiful, we've got a lot of here hanging designer lamps. It's clean, it smells good this room and it's super cozy I can imagine and very elegant at night when this olive tree is lit up. All right, let's go out of this room. But before we do, don't run away. Wow. This is fascinating. This is a fur dinkum hard one piece oak door. It's probably three meters high. It is very heavy, but the hinges, there have been many of them installed, allow the door to move effortlessly. And you have the soft magnetic close as well. But just look at this framing here. Everything with this natural oak, beautiful. Custom made doors in every part of the house. Right, from here onwards, we have three bedrooms I'm gonna be showing you, so follow me. We have bedroom number one here. See it for yourself. All right, beautiful decorated bedroom, and this is the bathroom for this bedroom. See it. All right, nice bathroom. Moving forward, let's put focus on the square floodlight hall we have right over here. Now the house has an east facing orientation, meaning the sun passes right above the center of the house throughout the day. So you have two of them, one here and one at the other corner of the house. And what happens is that depending on the time of the day, you get light coming in, flooding this room and downstairs either here or from there. Beautiful how this has been integrated into the house to allow natural light to come in. Very clever, big fan of it. Now it's time for bedroom number two. See it. Beautiful. Last bedroom on this floor. Join me and feel welcome. Firstly, you have a lot of cupboard space. You have these pocket doors that just open and close. LED lights in the cupboards. Very nice how this oak mat wood has been installed. You have the pocket door once again that slides open and welcomes you. Ow! Welcomes you into the bathroom and see it. Right here we have a Victoria and Albert bathtub. These are actually the Mercedes S-Class or Rolls Royce of bath types. It's done out of volcanic sandstone and Victoria and Albert actually give 25 years of guarantee. That's how good the bathtubs are and this one is a perfect example. Great. See the rest for yourself. Right, moving out of this, I'm gonna close it without getting my finger stuck as last time. And we move forward to this beautiful room. It's a double sized room right now being used as a double bed bedroom. See it for yourself. All right, from here, feel welcome to come with us outside to the terrace area careful nearly tripped there once again put focus on these big windows this is the only bedroom on this floor that actually has access to the terrace and faces east and you see you can open it up completely and feel like you live inside outside at the same time and from here real quickly this garden area is so manicured and so perfect in these lines and shapes it has been taken care of a lot as you can see the grass is perfectly cut, the hedges here are cut to form the perfect shapes. It resembles the same architectural lines and design of the house. Great. And coming over here we have the swimming pool. Once again the owner has used these 
beautiful natural stones. Now, if you come a bit closer, I would like to tell a little story about these stones because they remind me of the same stones I saw in a house not long ago. And the owner said that they come from Italy, from a cave that has been flooded. And it let, was flooded for thousands of years and obviously an ecosystem was created in those caves with the water. And then these stones, fossils were then created. And then sometimes you find little fossil pieces in these stones, which is a nice little detail. Moving forward, blue tiling in the pool makes it always look super refreshing and you just want to jump right in. And that is it for the first floor in the garden. Now, welcome to join us to look at the master bedroom upstairs. Just follow us, come on. And look, I'm already inside. It felt like I was just outside. It's this nice swift move from inside outside. Before we go, you have obviously a smart home here. You can control absolutely everything from here. The heating, the air con, the underfloor heating, the lights, the electricity, whatever you want, you connect it from here. And you also have this amazing air filter system that ventilates the entire house 24 seven and refreshes the air. Cool, right? Right from here, we take the stairs up to the master bedroom. This is micro cement and it's super cool. It looks very urban with also these designer elements that stand out very fancy. Now let's pace up the speed because I want to show you this big square right over here with the window in place. Gives visibility to this beautiful tree, but also brings a lot of light in. This is the merge between nature and architecture I mentioned before. Cool. All right, welcome to the main bedroom. This looks like a president suite in a five-star hotel. What we have here is this bed frame that makes the actual bed look bigger than it is. Beautiful in design, you even have space for your own working desk. You have a niche shelving right over here for your stuff. Here embedded is this nice wallpaper on the wall. Super slick and elegant as you can see. The kickback chair, another one over there. Great, what a beautiful room. See it for yourself in a little detail shot. All right, before we go to the bathroom and the walking cupboard, let's just quickly go outside. This is a beautiful area, super private, just for the user of the main bedroom. The same natural stone has been here installed as by the pool. You've got these two very elegant, minimalistically looking lounge chairs and a humongous terrace space that's for you to be used. And let's go very quickly because there is a, a little fun feature I would like to show you. Now, this covered lounge area with these bags to just fall asleep on is a really cool area. And I was told the owners come here at night in summers, they pop out the beamer right here, open this up. The beamer is installed here. It reflects a movie up onto the wall and you just come here and relax and chill a cool area for your outdoor living experience. And from here, let's go back inside and let me show you the wardrobe and the master bathroom, which is super elegant, just as the entire house is. Again, floor to ceiling windows, very nice. Let's start, have a look at this wardrobe. What a big walk-in wardrobe now we have a flat light bringing natural light there's no light in this room i just wanted to show how much light comes in and you've got these flat lights around the house the same light that you see here you have in the entire house and a lot of space to store your clothes and from here you also have access to the master bathroom in all its beauty now check it out you have this vanity to sink right over here you've got a vanity chair for your makeup, beautiful natural stone laid out over here that is also plastered in 
the shower walls inside if you just want to have a look. And this is a very big room with a niche for your shower gels. I had to walk in here because this is a beautiful natural stone and it's plastered on the wall just as it's there. Beautiful fusion. Right from here, one last thing I would like to point out. If Patrick, you just turn around as, not with this way, okay. <laughs> Once again, Victoria and Albert bathtub. But right behind me, look how picturesque this is. If you take a picture, this would go into a book of architecture. You have this really big window bringing natural light in. Outside, you also see the straight line and curves and architectural design features of the house. When you lie here, you have something beautiful to look at. All right, from here, I say we go quickly downstairs. We still have a basement to show you. And in the basement, a little surprise for you to see. Follow me. Coming down just really quickly, want to focus on the depth of the ceiling here, which is tremendous. The beautiful framing of the glass window right over there with the view bringing a lot of light in and creating the merge of inside and outside and bringing nature into architecture. Amazing, I love it. And also a big fan of these micro cemented stairs. Now, going down to the basement, we have glass balustrades. Glass is often used in modern houses because it's see-through and it allows a better perception of space. And you've also got these really funky lamps just hanging down, cool. All right, so in this basement, what we have is a gym. But before we do, look at this one piece cement micro cement staircase so elegant and i love how the simplicity of these lines make it still look so beautiful like i said this is the panels that create the subdivision and here we are in the gym area now it has everything you need huh? you've got a rowing machine beautiful carpet to walk on and this functional instruments right over here it is everything that you need for a good workout. I'm not just a realtor, I'm also a Thai boxer. Yeah, <laughs> I really hurt my leg actually, I'm gonna. Over here, we have a garage for two cars, a laundry room. The laundry room is as serving its fullest purpose because laundry is just being washed over there. And then you also have just over here, the garage for two cars. See it for yourself. The light is off. Let me see if I can switch it on. No. Yes, a garage for two cars. And you also have the carport right over here. What's great about it, I think you could even fit three to four cars in here. A lot of cupboard space. Great sized garage for this sized house. Let's move out. All right, guys, a compact flowing house right over here. Amazing distribution clever, intelligent, clean, 100% natural. Are you all right, buddy? All right, 100% natural. Great hanging lamps over here. As you can see, someone really spent an eye for detail in the interior design as well as in the architectural design of the house. Its foundation has been stabilized and also been resistant for earthquakes. Not like we have earthquakes here but the foundation is strong. It also has fire coating, walls and paint. Whatever you can think of, this house has, and it really is justified by saying that two million for this house is an amazing price. And I'm 100% sure it will get sold because if you walk through the house with me, you'll see detail, quality, design throughout, which is difficult to find in Marbella at such a high level. And if you do find it, it is for a property that usually costs 10 million. This beauty, as it stands, could be yours. So if you like the video and you like the house, make sure to contact us. The details are below. We have listed this beautiful property and it will be our pleasure to show it to you here in the heart of Soto Grande. Now, all the best. Thank you so much for watching another Mauro Brothers production. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give us a thumbs down. You know, we're neutral here. 
all the best, take good care and see you in the next vlog.